how do I channel when I am speaking and when I am writing? I wanted to jump on here and do a quick video on uh, the question that was posed, who do I uh, channel when I'm doing my channeled writings, the automatic writing, um, and then also when I'm channeling information during my sessions. Um, and it's going to vary. I call it universal consciousness because it's within all, of, all beings, and so it's universal. And so no matter what it is or who it comes through, um, it's there. And so the channel is through them to, to me to share with you, regardless of how that is, whether I'm writing or speaking, channeling, I'm a trans channel. So I don't go into um, like a, a deep meditation style where you see a lot of people are just going out, coming back in. Um, and that's just because I don't need to. It'll just come through, through me. I have created the space within myself to have that allowance for the information to come through that I am monitoring um, some, most times uh, when that's coming through. Sometimes I'll be, um, they'll be, depending on who it is and whoever's um, channeling at the moment, um, I may not remember, um, but for the most part, I do remember. And then I have the uh, writings on it um, to kind of be able to reflect back on, and of course, the videos. So who do I actually channel? I channel Melchizedek. Have you heard of Melchizedek? Um, also, um, Joseph. And um, then you do have also Jesus comes in. I've had a lot of different people um, coming in, depending on um, my journey, because of course, as I'm channeling, giving information, I'm learning and I'm connecting. And so the information comes to me in a way that is relative to my experience, my knowledge bank, which I've talked about um, just in a different video about knowledge and wisdom. Um, because it, those are things within my knowledge bank uh, that I can relate to that is part of the experience and it helps me to understand it. So I'm also learning and growing, evolving from doing this as part of my journey um, to also help clear things up and shed a light on to certain situations that we may have a misunderstanding or miscommunication about uh, from the other side. So to tell you one person or another uh, is a frame of reference to who they are as far as, uh, you know, identity, human consciousness, kind of pervasive um, understanding, um, which is very limiting um, on that side. But to give you just a few names, uh, Melchizedek is one. Um, I, there's a lot, so I can't come up with all the names. Um, so for instance, um, the energy of Michael Jackson uh, came in, uh, you know, at one point uh, during my journey, um, I've had the energy, you know, of angels, masters, uh, doctors. Um, it really depends, you know. Um, when I was having, um, like, congestion, you know, and I was asking the universe, um, what should I use? Um, a doctor came in and said to use anise oil, right, to do a steam bath with anise oil would clear up your congestion. And I never thought of that. And so when I Googled it, I looked it up and it, it said it's for um, asthma, congestion, helps clear up the lungs, things like that. And so I went and I used it and it worked. So it really depends on the situation and what I'm channeling and what I'm tuning in and asking from the universe. It'll bring forth the energies and the person that is needing to give the information that has it. And it's relative to uh, the experience that I have that they help me put into perspective for the understanding. So it really doesn't have anything um, to do with, you know, not that it's not important, but we make it important because we're human. <laughs> we want to know identity, ego, kinds of things like that. Where's information coming from? Um, so for me, I don't really put a lot of emphasis on that. Um, as long as it's within alignment with love um, and coming for the right reasons for the right reasons. And it's not coming in as far as anything that's detrimental or, you know, from the space of lack of love, right? And so it's, as long as it's helpful, not hurtful, um, or demeaning um, in any way. So I do channel a lot of ancients, um, Akizadek being one of them. Um, I have a lot of past lives that are related to being a nun, um, being a monk, <laughs> um, an enlightened one, um, being a, a, sh a shaman, um, 
in a past life, Native American, and so yeah, um, in Egypt. So a lot of different past life energies uh, that relate and come in from different timelines um, to bring the information in. So and that's the memory bank as well. Um, but for the channeling, uh, there's a lot of Melchizedek coming in, could be other ancients from civilizations, um, which I, again, I don't have all their names and I haven't really dived into it to question them, make sure I get all their names on <laughs> like a list. Um, but then there's the writings of Abraham. So I do channel Abraham um, on certain things. Um, and then, of course, uh, you do have um, angels, guides, and masters. Um, and it's, it's going to be different based on what the topic is and who it is uh, that I'm channeling. And so you can call it like the fifth dimension information, which is universal consciousness. Um, and so it's really not about the being, it's the information that's coming through. So they're all connected to universal consciousness, so are we. It's just us allowing it to come through us, right? And everybody can do this. Um, it's not just a certain person, but you have to prepare yourself for the information so it doesn't come through the ego and it just comes through clarity, right? And so you want to be able to do the cleansing and clearing so that you're not in judgment or coming from the ego side because when it comes, it's tainted information. Um, so you want to be able to make that space within you whenever you're doing channeling. So you're not putting, you want to let them use, um, see if I can put this in the right way. You want to let them use your knowledge bank of the information, but you don't want to be in the ego space <laughs> from what, oh, this is what I know. And so what you're channeling or what I'm saying is wrong, right? And so when we are channeling information for ourselves or for another person, um, some people, will add their own uh, belief systems in there. But you want to be an open space of channel to have the, the real information and the energy just flowing through you, right? And so that's universal conscious, though, no matter whether it's coming from an angel or Melchizedek or um, Abraham, you know, it's all universal consciousness coming in the way for you to understand it, which is why different channels speak in different ways, right? So what one will say is going to be based on their knowledge bank and how they share and express it with others, which is going to relate to people um, who's connected to them, right? And so that's why Abraham has their following. Matt Kahn has his following. I have um, the people and the followings that I have and that I work with on sessions. Um, so it's really going to be different for everybody who's ever channeling information and sharing um, they're all going to be different in how they relate. And so some will relate to them, some won't. And it really depends. Um, you know, and so it's really, you know, it's not really about, you know, me trying to figure out who I am channeling. For me, it's the universal information that's coming through that's important um, to share. Um, but it, it comes through all of us, even when we're not aware of it, right? It's our soul that's connecting to us to help guide us, even when we're in the human consciousness. Now, the collective consciousness is on the human level, right? And so that's what we share with us on Earth, uh, on this level, right? And so we're connected to each other, whereas we're connected to Source and the higher beings on the fifth dimension, which is the collect not the collective consciousness, um, but the universal consciousness, right? And so we have both that we are working with um, all the time. So we have both uh, that we're tuning into. And it really depends on where we are and what we're doing and what we're working on, if that makes sense. And so those are just some of the ones that I do work with and channel the information on. Um, and again, it's just whoever uh, needs to come in to impart their wisdom for whatever the topic is, uh, they'll show up. All right. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.